with Paycheck Baits and I'm going to show you a couple cool tricks on rigging your punch skirt. A lot of people think because of the name punch skirt all you can do with this thing is punch it and then that's not true. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you that a lot of guys are doing I'd like to do myself um, is just the standard flip and rig. You're just going to put a weight stop on your line just slide your line through that little hole right there and thread that weight stop up on your line And you know what, just slide it up your line about a foot so you have room to work with and tie your knot. You don't want to get bound up and not have enough room to tie your knot and you know tie a bad knot. So the first thing you do is take your bullet weight. This is a 3 8 ounce bullet weight. A lot of guys use eighth or 3 16 or quarter. Anything will work. Slide your bullet weight up on there and uh, take your punch skirt. Slide it right up on your line. Take your punch hook and I've trimmed the barb down on this hook a little bit because we're flipping in closer and and you know everything counts when in a tournament so that's what a tournament rig hook looks like in my box um, I like a double clinch knot a lot of guys you know their knots vary a lot of guys tie the palomar the double palomar um, it really doesn't matter what knot you tie um, to be honest any knot will work you just go around three times through that hole and back through the big hole you made. Pull that down on your line. Just push that down. That knot's ultra strong. It's never going to break. Take your scissors, cut all your taggings off. And that knot has three taggings. A lot of people are turned off by that knot because it's a little bit big. Um, I don't really care about the size of the knot because to me it's the strongest knot you can tie. After you slide that down, just slide your weight stop right down on top of your weight. That will kind of hold it down there tight and compact. Now this is just like a jig that you're going to flip anywhere, only when you flip this in there, unlike a jig, it's not stiff. So when it hits the bottom, you're going to pick up on your weight and you've imparted action. If you see the swivel of that weight coming off the bottom before the hook and the bait comes off the bottom, now you've, you've imparted action in your jig. Take your bait. This is a Berkeley Cherry Craw. I love Cherry Craws. They have a lot of action. Plastic flows really well. Slide that up on your punch hook, and again, slide it all the way up past your barb. A lot of guys say, well, how do you know if you're doing that right? Slide it all the way up. Don't be afraid. It's, it doesn't matter how what big a, a hole you rip in there. That barb's going to hold that bait on. And then just seat your plastic right down against that barb perfect every time. Take your weight stop. Slide it back down on your weight. Take the point of your hook. And now you got a 3 8 ounce tungsten jig with... 50% more action than a standard jig and basically any hook you want to put in it.